Well, good afternoon. Um, you know, I said once before, I made a comment last year in a video about doing like a uh, Whitetail 101 for new hunters, novice, or just somebody getting in the sport. So this year, I didn't get to do it last year. This year, I'm hoping I'll have the time to do it. So uh, what we're going to talk today is you hear a lot of people talk about preseason scouting. Well, I never quit scouting. Uh, I scout year round, and today is February second. Uh, I'm here in Kentucky. The season has been closed for about two, three weeks. What I'm doing today is I'm in here today. I'm collecting my cameras, and I'm also going to look at deer sign because what I find now, the sign I find now, is going to help me set up for next year. It's going to show me travel routes that maybe I didn't see last year. Uh, February and March are great times to scout because everything's dead. So you're going to see trails, you're going to see rub lines, you're going to see scrapes. So come along with me. I've already got one camera here. I'm going to take a quick look around this site and then we're going to move to another one. And just as I come up on sign, uh, we'll, vi we'll video and talk a little bit about it. Well, here's something I just wanted to stop and show you real quick. You know, for some reason, a lot of people think that when you hunt out of a tree stand, you need to be up... 25 30 feet this here is a stand that my son hung and i want to show you something it starts right there and there's the base of the tree he's got approximately three runs of ladder there so that's uh let's see four is eight 12 feet of ladder and so, so that tree stand is probably hung at about eight feet. Out of that tree stand this year, he shot two does. Now I know what you're saying. Oh yeah, he didn't shoot a big buck. Well, no, because a buck never presented itself. He shot two does. He's seen a number of deer. This tree stand sets like 15, 20 yards off of a trail. And if you look, he's got a tree here to the side of him. And another one over here what he was actually doing when he was sitting in that tree stand he was shooting off of the right side of the tree stand now that's now when i say the right side i say the way we're looking at it he was shooting to the right he was also shooting kind of behind him he was using the tree that the stand is in his cover because if you can see the daylight the sky there he's actually you can't see it from here but if he's up there you see he's got a shooting lane that goes out to this spot over to the spot over there where you see the brush on the ground and uh, he shot one doe there and then he shot another one on the road so let's get going and see what else we can learn as I walk back to the truck I figured I'd just take a few minutes kind of show you the scenery and you know you can see what I'm talking about you've got the woods is more open you know you can you can see in there a lot better than you could when all the leaves are in there I mean, back, you know, September, October, there's no way you could have seen in there. Uh, and it's times like this, you know, walking through here, I won't be surprised if I don't find rubs that I didn't see during the season. And that's one, like I said, that's one of the reasons I love to get out now. Uh, you know, you look, you can see all out. I mean, back during the season, I couldn't see through that tree, little tree line there that runs on the ditch and stuff. Uh, this is also a good time. You know, you hear people talking about doing observation sets. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people say this time of year, uh, you know, they don't really hunt the late season or, you know, by the late season they're done and that, but this is a good time of year to do observation sets just to watch to see how the deer are traveling back and forth from bedding to feed you know uh, so that's something for you to think about like I said take you over here see how you can see down there in the woods you know like I said before uh, back in November even you couldn't have seen down in there that well so let's continue on okay here's something we can't pass up and this is for new guys as you can see the droppings there see how they're all clumped up that is from a buck a male deer the biggest part of the time when he uh, has a bowel movement 
it will be clogged up like that. Your does, your females, will look more like rabbit pellets and be a big, uh, I don't know, be a round thing. I see some, I'm going to have to film them. I seen some earlier and I didn't. That's my fault. I wasn't thinking. But uh, those deer droppings there, that is probably a young deer. I want to say maybe two years old at the most. We got a camera not too far from here, so hopefully we'll have him on film. Okay, well, we just walked up on. Here's the doe droppings. Now, this is kind of give you an idea. It's just little pellets. They'll be like that. Some of them might be in a rounder area. Sometimes you'll see them in a little trail because the deer's walking. But that's uh, pellet, deer pellets from a bowel movement of a female. 